Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at and reacting to some data science memes. Let's get into it. <laughs> memes. People in 1990. AI will probably be very advanced in 30 years. The AI they expected. The AI now. <laughs> Dog. Yeah, it, there's tons of like bad AI apps. You know, anybody can just download whatever Python module and kick off some machine learning algorithm and you get stuff like this. There's, you can get hot dog, not hot dog apps on your phone. It's everywhere. Learner. Python programming, data visualization, data analysis, data science. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are, are trying to learn data science through boot camps or, you know, some quick online courses of how to do machine learning and they kind of skip over <laughs> all the steps here, right? Which are programming, visualization, and, anal and analysis skills, which are really most of the job of a data scientist anyway. Me trying ML for the first time. What could possibly go wrong? All right, he's got model fit in his fondue machine and it works. All right, he's adding ML to his resume. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, his, uh, his fondue pot is blown up here from, from math and stats. Yeah, unfortunately, there's really no uh, getting away from that. You know, you can, you can type up your model.fit in Python, but if you don't know what you're doing on the math side, eventually your fondue pot's gonna blow up. You got Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> statistics, data science, fancy poo, data science. <laughs> I'm a data scientist, yeah. Uh, a lot of data science is, is kind of statistics in a nice bow, right? Like, you got to learn your linear models and your t-tests and all that stuff, uh, even though it's it's not fancy and doesn't sound cool. You, you Sometimes you have to be the unsophisticated Winnie. Data scientists, Python. <laughs> oh, poor R. Yeah, uh, that's, especially in industry, a lot of people are... Uh, are the data scientists holding the Python dog? Uh, unfortunately, I think R deserves a lot more uh, credit than it gets. Uh, sometimes we're the lonely cat as the R programmers in the data science world. I know nothing. Wow, I'm the best statistician in the world. I know it all. I know nothing. Yeah, that is how it feels like. <laughs> I feel like especially when you start a problem, you start working on some project, and... You feel like, oh, it's going to be easy. I got it. You know, after the first initial stages of like, oh, what's going on here? I don't know really what's happening. You feel like you got to figure it out. You sit down, you start getting into it, uh, and you realize that you really don't know anything. There's always some problem that you have to, oh, I'm going to look at a reference. I, you, you start reading, and it, it turns out you know nothing. Data scientist in the pool with deep learning, um, machine learning, and statistics there at the bottom of the pool. Yeah, that does kind of check out, right? Deep learning is the thing everyone thinks is really cool and interesting and wants to talk about and all the, you know, towards data science articles and the medium articles are all explaining, you know, how to do deep learning, what is deep learning. Uh, even the machine learning of 10 years ago isn't cool anymore, right? Nobody wants to talk about random forests and support vector machines anymore. It's all just deep learning, this and that. And really statistics is the loser in all of this, right? It's got buried at the bottom of the pool. Nobody cares about linear models or people think that they're not useful and it's not worth learning, uh, which is really not the case. Learn your statistics. After learning Panda's API for Python, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Yeah, that a lot of people, you know, take a, take a Python, you know, coding class or a quick boot camp and, and you know, want to jump into the data science job market or, or whatever. And yeah, I mean, those things are, are great ways to get started and learn, but I do think there's a lot of overconfidence uh, by people who have, have kind of just jumped into the, the shallow end of, of Python or something like that and, and think that they can go ahead and, you know, be a professional and all this stuff. Um, there's definitely, definitely a lot of truth to that. All right. All right. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, that was our first kind of meme review episode. Uh, we got to look at some, some funny data science memes. <laughs> memes. Seems like a common theme is uh, people just want to skip right to it and get into the deep learning goodness and do do data science. But uh, 
don't forget your statistics. You know, don't be the skeleton at the bottom of the pool there. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you next time.